गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर सत्यव्रत साहु एम डी डी एम क्लिनिकल फार्माकोलॉजिस्ट एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन एप्लीकेशन ऑफ क्लिनिकल फार्माकोलॉजिकल प्रिंसिपल्स इन इमरजेंसी पेशेंट केयर ए केस रिपोर्ट सो कमिंग टू द केस ए फोर्टी फाइव ईयर ओल्ड फीमेल प्रेजेंटेड टू इमरजेंसी रूम उथ अल्टर कन्सियनेस हाइपर टेंशन मेजर डिप्रेशन एंड अल्कोहल अब्यूज ऑन भेनगाफैक्जिन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी मिलीग्राम वंस डेली एंड लोसाटन फिफ्टी मिलीग्राम ट्वैस डेली एंड पेशेंट हजबैंड फाउंड हर बिहेविंग एबनर्माली लास्ट थ्री डेज एंड देर इज नो हिस्ट्री अफ फिवर और इलनेस अल्सो टू टर्बिनाफिन फाइव हंड्रेड मिलीग्राम फर टीनिया टूरिस्ट फर फाइव डेज एंड देर इज नो सैंस अफ ओभियस पयजनिंग On physical examination, the patient was found to be confused and disoriented in time and place. She spoke with a uh, slurred speech. Her blood pressure was one hundred eighty per one hundred two mmHg. Pulse one hundred twenty beats per minute. Temperature thirty six point seven degrees Celsius and oxygen saturation was 96% and the pupils are dilated dry tongue red skin and urinary retention of more than 1 liter and gcs score evaluation e4 m6 b3 i opening for m6 motor and verbal command 3 and she was suspected to have visual hallucinations talking to imaginary people further neurological examination was unremarkable and the physician suspected it as venlafaxine toxicity but was confused about the diagnosis and further the patient is referred to clinical pharmacologist opinion then clinical pharmacology consultation venlafaxine toxicity was excluded as there was no significant drug interaction with terbinafin and it was identified as anticholinergic toxidrome and prompt treatment initiated then repeat visit by clinical pharmacology consultant after 3 days then the detailed medication history reveal that she consumed promethazine 25 mg 4 to 5 times per day for 5 days prior to admission showing previous prescription so it is due to promethazine toxicity that confirmed anticholinergic toxidrome so this is the picture showing the toxidrome there might be anticholinergic cholinergic opioid sympathomimetic and sedative hypnotic drugs that can cause toxidromes in case of anticholinergic toxidrome heart rate blood pressure increased but respiratory rate there will be no change temperature will be increase and pupil will be dilated bowel sound absent diaphoresis absent cholinergic cholinergic toxidrome no change in heart rate blood pressure no change in respiratory system no change in temperature pinpoint pupil and bowel sounds increase diaphoresis occurs in case of opioid toxidrome heart rate blood pressure decrease respiratory rate decrease temperature like this and pupils pinpoint pupil bowel sound absent and diaphoresis it is absent as per sympathomimetic toxidromes 
इंक्रीज हार्ट रेट ब्लड प्रेशर रेस्पिरेटरी रेट इंक्रीज टेम्परेचर विल बी दे आर शोन इन फिगर पीपल्स डायलेटेड बाउल साउंड इंक्रीज डायफोरेसिस अकर्स इनके सब सीडेटिव हिप्नोटिक हार्ट रेट ब्लड प्रेशर डिक्रीज रेस्पिरेटरी रेट डिक्रीज टेम्परेचर आर शोन इन द फिगर पीपल्स नो चेंज बाउल साउंड एबसेंट एंड डायफोरेसिस एबसेंट so we can remember these things before diagnosis of any toxidrum case so coming to conclusion clinical pharmacology has a vital role to diagnose and manage drug induced disorders and application of toxidrum approach is very much crucial for diagnosis of emergency patients suspecting toxicity so thank you very much for watching my videos and subscribing my channel and please like share and subscribe my channel so that you can get more knowledge about lots of diseases and drugs that are used in management of these diseases and there are lots of uh, videos in my channel you can like and subscribe and please watch thoroughly you can gain a lots of knowledge that you never gain before and you can also go through articles published in the journals and also guidelines you can read and acquire more and more knowledge about all these topics thank you very much for listening that's all for today jai jagannath